Houseboat? Hi! Welcome back to another episode of Jump Stuff. As I was sitting at home watching action movies last night, I got to thinking. Some of my favorite action sequences involve cars jumping onto things. Trains, yachts, hot air balloons, F-15 fighter jets. It made me wonder, what's the next great thing a car can jump onto? And then I realized, well, I live on a houseboat! Have you ever seen a car jump onto a houseboat? Okay, well, if you have, uh, send me the link. Otherwise, today's the day! First, to the garage. For today's jump, the risk is higher than ever and we'll really only get one shot with each car if it hits the water. Therefore, it's time to deploy the entire fleet, starting with... Guardian. Time to suit up! Over the last couple weeks, we've established Anki Overdrive's dominance when it comes to the ground and the air game. This week, it's time to establish our dominance of the sea. Or, at least the channel that flows outside my houseboat. In order to do this... I developed a special seaworthy car delivery vessel, aka my canoe, outfitted with a special platform to maintain jump height ratio from dock to gunnel. From my position, at the bow of the canoe, I'll set the car along the track piece where it will hit the jump exit piece and clear a jump of no larger than 25 centimeters to land onto the dock of the houseboat. At this point, it's up to me to account for acceleration, current, wind resistance, drift, interfering seagulls, and the monster that lives at the bottom of the channel to line myself up with the second jump, again, no larger than 25 centimeters, where I can catch the car and have it land safely back on the canoe. Now, I'm no fool. While I've been surprised and impressed by the resiliency of our overdrive cars after a high jump episode a few weeks ago, I know as soon as these cars hit water, there's a good chance they're not going to work again. However, the stipulations of my lease agreement are such that I cannot litter in the channel in any way, shape, or form. Therefore, I have a specially designated car retrieval system laid out. We'll start with some waterproof double stick tape, a thick cut piece of foam core, the car itself, and our handy dandy fishing net, if needed. With all our variables accounted for, it's time to jump stuff. To the houseboat! Whew, if only my commute was that easy every day. Welcome to my home. Here we have everything we need to successfully complete our houseboat jump. Canoe, track pieces, cars, flotation devices, and the jump platform itself. With that, it's on to assembly. With our jump platform assembled, it's time to jump stuff. Louis on, cars in demo mode. Here we go. Yep, yep, no, no! <laughs> Way off. Oh no! <laughs> Half our fleet has taken a dip. We're moving now on to our first nuke. Yeah! Jumped it! Nope. No! Gotcha. We've moved on to thermo. Our armada is very quickly dwindling, so we've made a few adjustments, removing some of the riser pieces and uh, calculating our alignment a little better. Let's see if we can jump it. Oh, oh, ho, ho! Jumped it! We were successful with our initial design. Now, instead of landing on the canoe, we're going to add another jump from the canoe back onto the dock and see if we can finish there instead. All right, trusty thermos ready to go. Let's see if we can do it with our added jump. Misaligned on our first attempt, let's try it again.
Down to our last car, the MXT. It's all or nothing. Here we go. There we go. No! In the drink! In the drink! It was so close, but it wins. In the drink! Oh, man. So, I thought we were on our last MXT, but as it turns out, I actually had one stashed under my pillow. Another reason why you should always be prepared to jump stuff. With that, let's do it. Our very, very last car. I've drowned the entire fleet that we've used all season long. This is the last one ever. Really makes you wonder if it's even worth it. Absolutely, it's worth it. Let's go! There it goes. There it goes. Yes. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, it's in the water. <laughs> oh, it was a valiant effort. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was another successful series of jumps here on Jump Stuff. We were able to get the car from the canoe onto the dock, back onto the canoe. In our advanced version, we were even able to see the car go back from the canoe onto the dock one more time. Alas, we never could quite hit that final jump re-entry piece and the bucket at the end of the track. However, that was our stretch goal. We were able to get it back on the houseboat two different times. Uh, really proud of today's work. Can't say thank you enough to our incredible crew as well as our subscribers. Again, do not try this at home. Uh, I am all out of cards today, but I'll be sure to secure a few more before our next episode. In the meantime, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on Jump Stuff. Bye.